with Showtime and with AMC, you've, you've probably worked with the same showrunners uh, a couple of times. Do you have any mentors that have worked with you as you've built your career? You know, not, I want to say yes, but honestly, no. I mean, yes, I've worked with the same showrunners twice. It doesn't really work like that for me, if that makes sense. Um, I kind of just learned from them, obviously, but I never really was that person who got taken under anyone's wing, if that makes sense. I always wanted that. I always wanted that. I always want to be like, I'm going to get under that person's wing and ride the ladder with them. You know, I think it's even more, I think it's even more amazing than to, for for where you are now to say that you didn't have somebody do that for you, that you did that for yourself. So congratulations. Thank you. And I'm curious, uh, what is your life outside of production? Like, so like you, you mentioned that you love animals. Um, how do you fill up your life in other ways than just being on set or being in the editing room? What does that look like? You know, I live a quiet life. Um, so when I'm not working, i I, I like to be at home. I, I play video games. I love all Nintendo games. So I play a lot of video games. Um, I draw a lot. I actually do cat portraits. Um, and um, I sit outside. I go for walks. Um, hang out I'm with my man. Trying to find that balance of, of work and, and real life. Yeah, which, by the way, is new to me. I mean, a good chunk of my career, there was no balance. It was work constantly. Yeah, and I think as an artist, especially as a young person, I'm noticing um, a lot of my peers and myself are realizing with this pandemic that it's you know removed a lot of opportunities for us. And we're realizing, oh my gosh, we have to be something other than just an actor or other yeah. than just a director. Yeah. Because if those opp- opportunities aren't present, then it's like, who, who am I really? Yeah. Um, so I think this year has actually been I don't want to say a blessing, but has been good to find those other things that fill you up in a way that um, not only your job does. So I love that. I love that you just said that because you're, you're right. It was painful to come to that realization because the first couple of months into COVID, I was depressed. I am, I'm used to working two jobs at once while I'm finishing a show. I'm usually starting a show. So I'm usually, all I do is work. So when that was stripped from me, it was hard. Like, I didn't know what to do. I, I didn't know how to fill yeah. my day. I didn't You're know. Like, to, who I, am I anyway? Yeah, exactly. Am I my resume? Uh, <laughs> yeah, 100%. Um, I was the same way. I, there was three weeks where I sat on a couch watching TV yeah. because I didn't have work. I, I'd, I'd just come off of um, a presidential campaign as well as a digital series. Right. And I went from 10, 12 hour days to what do I do with my life? Yeah. So wilderness, lots of hiking and lots of writing. (laughs) Lots of walks and lots of cat portraits. That's, and I mean, that got me through. I had never done a cat portrait before, you know? So to Dylan's point, yes, I found out that I can draw, you know, and that I like it. And I think also a lot of artists are finding that they can you know, produce things themselves. They can create, you know, totally. things through social media. Are you an advocate for that? Or is that something that you believe is a, a, a stepping stone to get to maybe where you are? I'm totally an advocate for that. I think I, I love that now we can think differently about how we do things, right? So COVID has taught us we can get to places differently, um, whether whatever platform you can use, hell yeah, use it. 